Hey guys, um, a little while ago I made a, uh, a Road to Diamond Camel series when I was actually running to try and get it. And there was that one about the XPR which I saved for last because it was the hardest one for me. Um, there was a comment recently that someone wanted me to show kind of attachments and what I use used um, to do that. So here it is. Um, I basically used three. Uh, this one here, we're going to do XPR, Silencer, and the Ballistics. Um, and then the rest of the class, I use the B23R. Um, I just decided to use, I couldn't decide what to use, either C4 or a Betty, but I'm going to go with the Betty. Uh, I use Ghost and I believe it's called Blind Eye, whatever it is, that's so that things don't shoot you from the sky. Uh, and then scavenger, I should change. I don't want to use that. I'd rather use toughness and sniping. Um, and then this is the first and kind of class that I would use the most when I was doing this when I do use this gun, which isn't very often. Um, secondly, you can do this. Um, go with the ballistics and the FMJ. Um, <clears throat> ballistics is gonna be basically for your long range kind of sniping and whatnot. Um, on some of the other guns, I don't even consider using it, like the DSR. I don't like it. I don't use it. Um, but on this gun here, the XPR, I do highly recommend using it. It makes quite a large difference, especially long range. Um, and then finally, what you can do is also an ACOG and FMJ. Uh, I did use it for a few of my Bloodthirsty Medals when I was doing my Road 2 series. I did get some. Basically, what you're going to want to cater to with these classes is the map. Um, this ACOG one is going to be for your close range maps, maps where there's kind of a lot of corners and people just kind of pop out and you need really really quick not necessarily full scope long range stuff you can just use the ACOG to really quickly just you know quick scope quick scope quick scope as fast and as much as you possibly can so these are the three classes you can take a look there um, and now I wanted to make two videos here I'm gonna make one video of just a few bloodthirsty medals that I actually got in within about seven games of playing, or about, yeah, seven games um, of trying to do this. This is these video were taken the day of when this comment was posted by this person who wanted to see this. So I decided to do it all in one day, and uh, I'm gonna have this video for the few clips. Uh, I didn't have live commentary for it. I just played, so that's why I'm kind of recording this audio afterwards and talking over the clip. Um, but this is actually a really good clip that I hit. Um, I'm not playing... Basically, these videos were for people that were doing, trying to get Diamond Camo. If you're trying to get that, that means you're pretty much probably stuck on the bloodthirsty things. It's the hardest ones to do. For me, the XPR was the hardest one for me to do. It was the last one that I did. Um, so these clips here, they're not the most exciting clips in the world because you're so desperate trying to get bloodthirsties, you're, you know, you're camping, you're doing everything that you can to stay alive to keep your streak going. Um, and this is actually a pretty nice clip, nice no scope there, there I already hit the bloodthirsty and uh, I continue to go here a little bit until I eventually end up with a merciless streak. Um, some of it is using. Uh, I pick up a. I pick up a submachine gun here in a second. But I mean, once you get the bloodthirsty, if you get to merciless, it doesn't count for two, anyways. So once you get to there, you might as well try and go as far as you can, right? And if you're stuck on the XPR, that means you don't like it, and uh, chances are you're gonna pick up a gun like I do right now to get a few more kills. Um, but. The three classes that I use, um, this is the one with the ACOG is definitely this map. <laughs> In a nutshell, this map here is designed for this ACOG. 
Um, I tried using the long range scope. I hated it on this one. It just I just couldn't stand it at all. Um, we lost that and then not over yet. on longer Still ones, up. carrier, you're gonna want to use the full scope. I mean, there is the variable zoom, but I hate the variable zoom, so I never use it on any class whatsoever. Um, I'm Half time. map types. Of course, you can Domination. do whatever you want. Team Deathmatch, I don't think is suited for bloodthirsty metals at all. The spawns are so erratic that you're probably going to get ganked at least a couple times. And it's really frustrating when you're on a four kill streak or something and someone just literally spawns behind you and shoots you in the back of your head. Um, so I would not suggest doing that. I personally only did Domination or when I was playing with my friends I did team deathmatch because that's what they like to play but if I was playing by myself and really trying to go for medals I was doing team deathmatch um, some people did hardcore mode for the XPR I, I might have played one or two I know I played quite a few when I was on the SVU um, but for the XPR, I think I'm mainly stuck with uh, normal mode, to be perfectly honest with you. And the DSR and the Ballista, I played normal the whole way. Because, uh, I don't know, you, you don't really need those one shots. You can pretty much get it as long as you're aiming uh, chest and higher. And um, with the DSR, you can pretty much shoot them wherever, wherever the hell you want and they die. Um, but this clip is getting close to the end here, it's kind of just lasting out, but uh, I wanted to include it. And this video here is just going to have um, clips from the classes, the three classes that I made, one from each class. I wanted to try and get one, and thankfully I did get one for each. And then uh, either a little bit later on tonight, or uh, at some point tomorrow, I'm going to post a, uh, a full gameplay of me doing um, start to finish uh, domination and uh, getting at least one I think I get two or maybe more bloodthirsty medals in a single game it was recorded today I did it today but uh, I'm just not sure when I'm gonna get a chance to get to it I might not be able to get to um, getting it all together and up tonight but uh, be on the lookout for that tomorrow that kind of that'll show you exactly how I play, rather than just these little clips of just the bloodthirsty. But uh, that'll show you how I kind of get screwed over by the sentry gun, merciless streak, and then the sentry gun freaking kills you. But um, see, so here's the one that I I put the different camos on the classes for a reason when I was creating the classes to show you kind of which one's which that I'm using and getting um, clips for. This one has the ballistics and a. Uh, a silencer. Um, like I said, my main one, the one that I use most often is uh, this one for this gun and I also use this setup with the um, ballista. UAV on stand. Um, oh cool, I made that guy quit. <laughs> Sucker. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, kind of what I have on the docket for you guys, but there was that one, um, and then here you go. This gun actually has the diamond uh, diamond camel on it, so I'm not BSing about any of this. I do have it. I did finish it. I kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, that is good. what it is going to be all about this video, and then the next one that I have coming for you very, very shortly. Um, I don't think there's really anything else I wanted to say to you guys uh, regarding attachments um, like I said the variable zoom is one thing that you can do if you hate the ACOG and you're doing a close range map but uh, for this map here I highly suggest you use long range full scope it, uh, it helps out quite a bit um, and I didn't use the ballistic sight on this on this particular clip right here and like right there it was kind of my first shot was so far off and uh, it would have been a lot easier if I had the ballistics and then after I hit this and I get it all squared away 
I um I switch. UAV inbound. 